when we were um, um, sort of exploring and trying to understand who we are, the book, the written word, was one place we go to. You know, it's actually quite an honor for me to be asked by David and by Latino Get Pride to, to be here because I think it really speaks to how uh, welcoming and, and how much the Latino community embraces everyone. So it's truly an honor to be here. Uh, so please welcome to the stage Jimmy Rodosa. Bush reached his all time low with the vile subtext hidden within his 2004 State of the Union address. Get this. One moment, he told young people to abstain from premarital sex to avoid sexually transmitted diseases. Then, in the very next breath, he called for a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage. Now, let me get this straight, so to speak. You shouldn't have sex before marriage, but if you're gay, you shouldn't allow, be allowed to ever get married. So, I have essentially been condemned to a life of celibacy by the President of the United States. <laughs> Chemical straightener is not okay. <laughs> Let me be very clear. It is not okay. <laughs> if any of you adopt black babies from Africa, don't do it. <laughs> not okay. This stuff left lumpy, red, crusty scabs on my head. Again, tears would leak out of my eyes and I would claw into my own arms, sitting directly under this vile chemical. I cut my hair short at 14 in direct defiance of my parents, so I would not have to do this all the time. I tried in vain to still my panicking heart and descend to the small and battered ladder. Removing my washed computer and stuffing it deep in my jacket pocket, I walked a short distance into the dark world of the railway tunnel along the bench wall catwalk that was littered with secrets of darkness. Pages of naked women in desiring postures, stretched prophylactics, the shameful wreckage of spent pleasures that was much of it for wandering rats to appraise. When, they're open, when they opened their eyes, the only light in the room came from the old lamp Carlos had turned on earlier. She looked to look at the small window and wondered if anybody could see them. Your friend should be back soon, Carlos said. You got a few minutes left. Julito pulled the chain on the lamp, inviting the darkness to enshroud them, and their lips reunited without trepidation. How many people have kissed in this room, Julito wondered. He didn't know the answer, but if the spirits were watching, he didn't think they ever expected two Puerto Rican boys from the South Bronx to be locked in a kiss whose passion challenged that of the setting sun. Thanks. Woo!